Hey, how's it going? This is Jim Charles from EXP Realty, and today we're going to talk about the first step of the home buying process. First, you want to get yourself a good realtor that has a great referral network that is going to be able to refer you to like an amazing loan officer, inspector, attorney. And without further ado, I have Kimberly Provost here from North Point Mortgage. How are you doing, Kim? Hi, I'm Kim Provost, and I'm from North Point Mortgage. We're located at 117 Park Avenue in West Springfield. And thanks so much for having me, Jim. Yeah, no problem. And you know, I, like this is the first step, right? We got to establish the budget. And I know, like a lot of clients are like, "Man, what do I need for a credit score?" So you know, how does that work? That's a great question, Jim, because a lot of first-time home buyers are worried about their credit. And I'm here to tell you that you don't have to have great credit to buy a house. Really? Yeah, we have a lot of really great programs for first-time home buyers. We have conventional financing with as little as 3% down, and you need to have a credit score as low as 620. We have a fabulous FHA program um, with a 3.5% down payment and a credit score at 580. As a matter of fact, on FHA, you can have $2,000 in open collection accounts and still qualify. Well, and that's that's pretty interesting because you know I I do talk to buyers and like oh you know I'm working on my credit come talk to me about six months and then you know I, I talk to them six months down the line their credit's actually worse because they did the wrong things right yeah Jim you your buyers really need to speak to a licensed loan officer first and they can tell you everything you can do to fix that credit. Now, once we get the credit established, now we have to figure out down payment. Now, what, what, if I, what if I do have perfect credit, but for some reason I don't have the money to, to actually pay for the down payment? How, what could we do? Well, down payment sources can come from your savings or checking account. That money needs to be in those accounts for at least 60 days. But you can also get money from a retirement account, a gift of funds from a relative, or even a first-time homebuyer grant program. Oh, a grant program. How does that work? So first time home buyer grant program um, is given by several cities in Western Massachusetts. The first step is to take a first time home buyer course with Wayfinders in Springfield. So with the down payment assistance from the grant program, could we use that for closing costs as well? The down payment assistance grant is used for a down payment, but if you don't use the full amount of funds for the down payment, you can also use that for closing costs. Another way to pay your closing costs would be to ask for a seller credit uh, to help pay your closing costs at closing. Okay, so now once we, we I have my down payment, I have a credit, and I found this gorgeous house, I want to put an offer, how soon could I close? So most clients can close within 30 days. 30 days, wow. Okay. If somebody had additional questions, um, what's the best way for them to reach out to you? So the best way to reach out to me is by calling my cell phone, which is 413-537-1852, or by emailing me at kprovost at trynorthpoint.com. Kim, I want to thank you so much for coming out and answering these questions for me. Hey, if you're interested in buying, selling, or investing in real estate, you can find me on Facebook at J. Charles Realty, or you can call, text me at 413-320-9979. We're looking forward to working with you.